Hello everyone. In this course of tutorials I will try to teach you how to create your own DVD cover. At the end the final product should look like this one. So I will teach you how to add text, how to create this reflection and the lights in this window and how to remove some objects from the image and many many other things. Actually all the things which are added and transformed and adjusted in this project. And at the end I hope the final product will look like this one. So let's begin. So let's first just close this project. So click on file and close. Now I would like to show you the guide image which I created. So these are all the measurements I made when I measured my DVD case. So I measured the whole width of the case, the whole height of the case, and then separately I measured the back side of the case, the width for the back side of the case, then the middle part of the case, and the front side of the case. After you measure all the required things, just write them on the paper and you can start with creating your DVD cover. So as we can see here, my width of the DVD case is 27 centimeters and 6 millimeters. I would like to tell you that I will subtract 4 millimeters from the entire width. So basically the 2 millimeters from the left side and 2 millimeters from the right side just to make sure that the final product will fit in my DVD case. So let's close this and let's begin with the project. So click on File, New and here just change units from pixels to centimeters and now just write inside the dimensions of your DVD case. After you write the width and the height, just write the, for resolution 300 and then just for color mode choose RGB color and click on OK. The next thing we would have to do is to set up the guides. If you want to set up the guides you will have to apply rulers to your working area first. To do that you will have to click on U and on rulers. So I deselected them, now I will apply them. So click on view and on rulers. Now if you want to apply the guides you will have to have selected the selection tool, so select it. And then if you want to apply the vertical guides just go and click on the vertical ruler with left mouse button and drag out the guide and then just release it and you will have the guide in your working area. If you want to apply the, the horizontal guide, do the same thing. So go to the horizontal ruler and click on it with left mouse button and drag out the guide. So let's set up the guides for the middle part of the DVD cover. So if you want to remove guides, just grab them and carry them to the ruler and release them and they will automatically be deleted from the working area. So now look at your measurements and drag the guide to mark the middle part of the DVD cover. So my back side of the DVD case was 13.1 centimeters long but I decided to decrease my width and height for 4 millimeters. So the new length is 12.9 centimeters. So just drag out the guide to 12.9 centimeters. By the way, if you want to change the unit of the rulers, just click with, on them with right mouse button and choose different unit. Now just drag out the guide and set it to, in my case I will set it to 12 centimeters and 9 millimeters, somewhere between these two last lines. And then just release it and set 
the second guide the length of my middle part of the case is 1.4 centimeters again release it and you are basically set at the required guides for your project now you can remove the rulers from the working area so just click on view and click on rulers the guides will stay on the working area the next thing i probably always do is to lock the guides so that we don't move them accidentally when we work on our project to do that click on view and lock guides before we continue with the work let's just fix the error i made before i didn't notice that the length between those little lines which you can see in the ruler it's not one millimeter but it's two millimeters so i set the second line wrong so the length between the first guide and the second guide is not 1.4 centimeter so let's adjust that so basically this is 1.1 centimeter this is 1.3 centimeters and this is 1.4 centimeters now it is correctly set it so now let's separate the parts of dvd cover into layers unlock this layer you can do that with double clicking on it and click on ok the next thing is to duplicate this layer three times so just grab it and carry it to a new layer icon and release it do that two times now let's rename the layers okay now let's add a mask to certain layer so first let's add a mask to front side so the front side of dvd cover is this one so take rectangular marquee tool and create a new selection so the select the front side of your dvd cover and you can see it will automatically snap to guide then just release the selection and click on add layer mask and you're done now click on middle part and select the middle part when it snaps to other guide just release the selection and click again to add layer mask then we have just the back side so click on back side layer click on this tool and make a new selection then just click on add mask icon so we have created this just to prevent the overlapping of the objects in the working area if you do not understand completely what this is you will find out later now let's quickly demonstrate what we created with this type of process over here so let's grab a brush tool quickly and draw something click first on front side and make a drawing and you can see the drawing is visible just on the right side so on the front side of the dvd cover if we repeat the process for the back side so select the back side layer and draw again something again you can see that the drawing is, is visible just on the back side of the layer so this this will actually help us to not put some images or objects in the part of the dvd cover we don't want so we will actually isolate the specific part of the dvd cover so let's begin with work so first i will just undo the, the drawings i made before now let's start with the project first of all i would like to change the color of my dvd cover so first go and choose the color click just on this black correct angle and choose the color i would like to change the color of my dvd cover into black so select the black color click on ok then select paint buckets tool 
and simply select the layer where you want to change the color. So first select the, the front side and click once, then the middle side and click in the middle side, and at the end just select the back side and click once in the back side of my DVD color. Let's proceed with importing the first image into our project. So click on File and Open. Select the image you would like to import. And then just click on Open. Now you will have to put the image into your project. So you can do that with just changing the screen mode to standard screen mode then click on selection tool and simply drag the image into your project and release it now you can close the actual image so here we have the image now be be aware of this process so if i move the image one layer below it won't be seen in the left side of my DVD cover, so the back side. If I move the image one layer below, it won't be seen in the middle and the left side. So first choose on which side you would like to work, then just import the image and put it above just the layer of the part of the DVD cover you would like to work. 